scene 88 point infinity hey y'all artist poet girl here apg jamie yep that's me and today i'm going to show you how i uh altered the buddha yeah buddha statue it's about uh 18 inches tall and I don't know 10 11 inches wide maybe down there at the base I found uh, this Buddha type statue at uh, a local um, well it's not really that local to me loco crazy local uh, no it's over in Houston Cypress area uh, Traders Village flea marketplace so, and when I first saw it, I thought, oh, I want to know how much he cost. These are me $5, y'all. Just $5 for this lovely Buddha thing. And uh, when I saw him, I thought, oh, I could paint him because I wasn't so crazy about, you know, that finish they had on there. Uh, I didn't tell you what it's made out of. It's made out of that plastics, rosin stuff. So, yeah. And, uh... I thought about painting him a color, so I uh, put uh, white gesso all over him and uh, lived with him for a while out here in the studio, and I thought, no, I don't know, maybe a color, I don't know. And then, um, I don't know, I don't know where I was going with that, so, so forget I said anything. Then I thought I wanted to cover him up with some book paper. And I have this uh, Japanese book that I bought at the uh, Half Price Bookstore. And um, it's, uh, I don't know, something about astrology and, and... Oh, my God, did y'all see that fly? Oh. Anyway. Um, so I had that Japanese book and I thought, oh, now that would be cool. Let's cover Buddha in Japanese words. Yeah, astrology, birth date, um, relationship kind of stuff. Anyway, it's in Japanese. And uh, so I tore it into pieces, and I did use um, Elmer's glue wall. Now, I've told a few of you guys in chat rooms off and on about Elmer's glue wall. This is not the washable kind that you get for the kids for school, okay? This is the real stuff, the real sticky glue. Well, it's not really sticky. Well, it is sticky. It's glue, after all. Anyway, oh my God, a fly. Um, if uh, y'all use a lot of Elmer's glue, um, yeah, fair amount. Yeah, I use it a lot. Um, I suggest you go to your local hardware store, Lowe's or Home Depot, not to be name brand dropping here, but uh, one of those, and if you look over in the concrete section, which is typically where it is, it's in the construction area with, around the concrete, or you can just ask, ask them at the information desk, you can buy a whole gallon of Elmer's glue wall for like um, $20, $25 maybe. Yeah, that's where I get mine from. That's why it's in an old Aileen's bottle with a... Uh, Orange. I painted the lid orange and put a label on there telling me that that was the Elmer's, not the Aliens. So anyway, Elmer's glue is pretty good stuff. And uh, you can actually, uh, this, this is the contractor's uh, tip here because I've done that kind of thing before. If you uh, are pouring new concrete or even patching, you know, a small area of concrete. And oh my God, did y'all see that fly? If you dampen your old concrete and you slather it up really good with Elmer's glue all and then put your new concrete there, it stick. Yes, it will to the old concrete. Good stuff, y'all. So anyway, y'all saw what I did. I put uh, white gesso on uh, Dear Buddha and uh, I didn't show you the whole thing because that would just be so tedious because it was a little tedious to do covering them all in uh, white gesso and likewise with this torn uh, Japanese print uh, book paper um, 
it, it's a fairly good weight of paper. There he is from the front. I really am liking him. I've since then I've covered him in an uh, interior exterior grade uh, satin varnish because once uh, Champ stops or gets past the chewing stage, he will sit outside my studio door. And I'm I'm really happy with him. Yeah, I am. What do y'all think? What do you think? Oh, look at that face, Buddha. And look, the name Johnny right on Buddha's lips. Don't you just love that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Here it comes, here it comes. Hidden Jim. And thanks for watching. Happy arting, y'all.